Hello and welcome to Benzediction. I finally found a good um, 2010 year command unit on Facebook market for $50. And I'm going to upgrade my audio 20 and add a camera with dynamic trajectory or moving guidelines. Is it easy to upgrade without trouble from an audio 20 on any Mercedes early 2000 to 2010? to the command unit without major issue what is going to be the pros and cons of upgrading to mercedes-benz head unit and not the android auto or apple carplay upgrading from audio 20 this is a 2006 and this is a next generation a command unit as you know it it has multiple function this is a uh, upgrade so upgrade is always problematic especially when it comes to mercedes it's not just plug and play it's it needs lots of coding lots of uh, pass codes and lots of uh, everything in between and that fiber optics makes everything uh, much more uh, complicated so the problem with this of work is there is not much resources out there some resources are out there uh, in coding different modules for the car and those are in somehow in Russian language which no one understands so the resources are limited so let's start the work with removing the head unit in both ways of course and gradually As soon as you remove this, you need to push a tap behind it and release these uh, connectors. Of course, you can do without this as well. But let's get rid of all these connectors over here. And that's it. push down on these two bars over here just a little wiggling and it's out just like that and then this bad boy and you're done when buying a head unit you want the first three digits to match your uh, original head unit in this case i have a164 over here made in japan and a164 so will the connector fit as it is over here on the new head unit let's check this out as far as I can see I have the fiber optics which is one reason you should not upgrade to uh, Android Auto these type of, type of uh, optic cables so but as you can see over here this cable straight goes in just like that I do have the camera connector to connect Okay, here is the issue so it comes up I actually uh, was able to operate it uh, without any sound so I didn't have any sound but I tried to reset so I went to the setting and reset the command unit and as soon as I reset this text came onto the screen saying that the anti-theft protection is activated Okay, here are the focals. The GPS antenna has a short circuit. Microphone one has an open circuit. So there is no microphone. The GPS antenna has a short. Anti-theft protection is activated. 
radio antenna two has an open radio antenna one has an open the bluetooth antenna has a short okay and if i follow the code for the anti-theft it is suggesting that enable radio using diagnostic system of course it's saying everything about pin for theft protection was entered incorrectly or the radio is not intended for this vehicle which is correct okay here is the section that everybody was waiting probably if you're planning to upgrade your audio system to a command or something else uh, with uh, more options you need this screen over here enter entry of pin for theft protection example so at the moment it's, it's a six digit number that I do not have I do have my VIN number uh, but I do not have this code thanks to Midland vehicle diagnostics in the UK they gave me the six digit codes uh, and it happened by me only providing them the donor vehicle uh, VIN number and they gave me over the internet this code uh, if you want your code please contact them I provide you the contact number to these good people uh, so let's go ahead and press F5 and see what happens next so the audio system restarted the command units restarted and it seems like it's working and yeah it seems like it worked because I did see the radio screen for a second so we have one less issue now so I cleared the code and I would like to uh, re-scan to see if there is any other fault codes present in there so this time as you can see there is no fault code with the locked screen or anything like that but we still have few issues to sort out so here is the next problem uh, and it says specified actual configuration of MOST ring differs so this is the fiber optic uh, sequence of being connected to this head unit which differs from the previous one that I had originally on this car so let's see if we can set up or configure this MOST ring or not so the basic uh, action here would be to restart the optical ring so let's try that to see if that helps at all or not and the radio restarted let's see if that makes any difference and here is the how the system knows uh, different positions of MOST master that's the fiber optic uh, sequence so there is the master is the command and the position one is UCI and position three is sound okay so here we need to deal with these two issues to solve our, uh, to complete our upgrade so there are two issues unknown most component which is expected and the second one configuration of the most component are different so the first one is unknown most component so that means we need to code this head unit to the modules so so it can be recognized by other control modules like DVD changer and amplifier and Bluetooth modules and so on and so forth okay so here is another problem so we unlocked the audio command unit with a new code because it was locked 
So that was the first issue solved. Now we have another issue. The second issue is there is no sound. So this is definitely uh, according to what we diagnosed by using the star diagnostic, it's definitely the most ring, the fiber optic sequence and devices that this command system knows on the default, the donor vehicle, it's different than my vehicle. This device itself has a CD changer on board. So I think it is uh, much probable that the other uh, car, the donor car did not have a separate CD changer that we have here. So I'm going to use a fiber optic loop to bypass this CD changer over here by taking off the glove box and it's only seven screws. So let's do this quickly. So as I said, I'm going to use one of these loops to bypass that unit. Let's take off three screws from top, from around this edge over here. As you can see, one, two, three. And there's one after I pull off this cover. Okay, so now we got this light is blinking from the head unit itself saying CD changer CD C C D uh, female one to put it in and then anything okay so we use the loop to skip the uh, CD changer and I also use the loop to skip the phone module as well. Now looking at the fault codes, I can see that there is one fault code which is stored and that's the most communication has malfunction. So if it's stored and it's not current, I can easily uh, clear that code by pressing F9. So let's do that. And the bigger problem is that SC encoding is not possible using the uh, DAS uh, program uh, because this is not possible uh, by offline coding with DAS uh, application. So there should be a third party uh, program and that's Vediamo. Finally, one step ahead, finally my Vediamo 422 is connected to the car it took me like four weeks of searching internet and doing all sorts of crazy things to be able to connect my uh, ST connect to work with Vediamo so here we go now what we need is HU25 let's find it over here and there we go it is here and then Press OK. Yep, this is a very good sign. Finally, I've got something over here. Although it's not connected yet, but I'm pretty sure I can connect it by push of a button. And now it's going to diagnosis mode. As you can see over here, So now you can have Vediamo to read the errors on your HU25 which is uh, the radio head unit over there and as you can see it's the same as what we had in DAS. So here is how you can define different most configuration. So currently it is HUTGW, which is the head unit. Position one is UCI and position two is the sound, which is the amplifier. And here you can change it to whatever you like. Position zero HUTGW, which is head unit. Position one is UCI and position two would be amplifier 
To give you an update, I have bought some uh, GPS, Bluetooth, and FM uh, antenna cables from eBay, and these are cheap, like five, six dollars each from eBay. Not a big deal, and I can probably fix all the issues with all those errors that uh, we have for Bluetooth, GPS, and FM. Uh, and even microphone issues and errors on this uh, command unit. But here I'm a bit stuck with the programming of this with Vediamo. So if any one of you can, please, you put in the comment section, that would be much beneficial for everyone else. And then I will include everything else, including uh, adding the camera. And I have some sort of surprise for you too. I'm going to do this completely wirelessly. So we don't have to, you know, uh, cross all the wiring through the car. So this is going to be exciting to have a wireless uh, camera for this car. So I can do this in the next video, the second part, hopefully, if I get uh, the solution from this, because I have been kind of stuck with this in the past six, seven weeks on and off, I have been working on this. And I'm, uh, I, I don't, I'm not a programmer to be honest, but I would like to learn this. So, so please bear with me. I will have a second part as well. And this is going to hopefully to help everyone else who's going to try this. I'm pretty sure there are uh, some people out there who are not going to just convert from uh, the original head units, uh, Mercedes head units to like uh, very cheap Android autos or uh, Apple CarPlay. So hopefully this is going to be very useful. All right, guys, as usual, thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing. Have a great day and please keep watching. I will have the second part coming very soon.